Uh, in answer to the first part of the question, I didn't. Question number 10, Jamie Strange. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health. Order. Mr Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health and asks, does he have confidence in the governance of the Waikato DHB given the findings of the OMBLA report? Mr Speaker. The Hon. Dr David Clark. Last week, the State Services Commissioner released the OMBLA report into allegations of the inappropriate use of public funds by the former Waikato DHB Chief Executive Dr Nigel Murray. It found that more than half of his claims for travel and accommodation were unjustified and his conduct fell short of what is required of a state sector leader. This report fully justified my decision to accept the resignation of the former chair of the DHB, Bob Simcock. I have no doubt the acting chair, Sally Webb, has the DHB focused on its real job, delivering quality health care. The answer to your question is yes. Supplementary. What lessons were there for DHBs out of the OMBLA report? Mr Speaker, the public expect DHB leaders to be careful stewards of health funding, as do I. There needs to be clear justification for spending on travel and accommodation. As Minister, I will hold DHB chairs accountable for the spending on their watch. There needs to be transparency around expenses, including written authorisation for significant travel costs and robust processes for managers' expenses. Question number 11, Melissa Lee. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Broadcasting Communications.